Ever wondered how to treat skin infections in your axolotl? A salt bath can be a powerful tool. It's no secret that our aquatic friends can sometimes encounter skin issues. These can stem from a variety of causes, from poor water quality and injuries, to pesky bacterial or fungal infections. But fret not, this is where a salt bath comes into play. Renowned for their antiseptic properties, salt baths can clean wounds and significantly reduce the risk of infection. They can help heal minor skin wounds and infections, taking care of those unsightly sores. If your axolotl has been looking a bit grumpy, a salt bath might just be the solution to reduce inflammation and irritation. And let's not forget its role in aiding the recovery from fungal infections, a common menace in the axolotl world. But remember, before you dive into preparing a salt bath, ensure you've consulted with a veterinarian. Once you've got the go-ahead from your vet, it's time to gather your supplies. Priority number one is sourcing aquarium salt. This isn't the same as your everyday table salt, which contains additives that could harm your axolotl. Next on the list is dechlorinated water, ensuring a safe environment for the treatment. Now let's prepare the salt bath. Start by dissolving one teaspoon of aquarium salt per liter of dechlorinated water in a clean container. Patience is key here. You want to make sure that the salt is completely dissolved before moving on. Temperature plays a crucial role in this process. It's important to match the water temperature of your salt bath to that of your axolotl's tank. This helps prevent any potential thermal shock, maintaining a comfortable and safe environment for your aquatic friend. With your salt bath ready, it's time to introduce your axolotl to the treatment. Introducing your axolotl to the bath is a gentle process. Let's go through it. Once the salt solution is prepared and the temperature matched, gently place your axolotl in the bath. Make sure the water level allows them to move and breathe comfortably. Now, the key is patience. Your axolotl should stay in the salt bath for about 10 to 15 minutes. Keep a close eye on them throughout this time, taking note of any signs of stress or discomfort. Once the bath time is up, it's time to move your axolotl back to their main tank. Do this gently to minimize stress. Post bath, maintaining optimal tank conditions is absolutely critical. Clean, well-maintained water will support your axolotl's recovery and help prevent future skin infections. Remember, close observation during and after the bath is crucial for your axolotl's comfort and well-being. How often should you give your axolotl a salt bath, and what precautions should you take? That's what we're going to explore now. Depending on the severity of the skin infection, a salt bath can be administered once daily for up to three days. But remember, it's essential to follow your veterinarian's advice on this. While salt baths can offer relief, it's crucial to watch for any adverse reactions. If your axolotl shows signs of distress during or after the bath, it might be necessary to reduce the bath duration or the concentration of the solution. Now, let's not forget about prevention. Maintaining clean and well-monitored water conditions in the main tank is your best defense against future skin infections. Regular water changes and diligent observation are the keys here. With the right steps, a salt bath can be a soothing solution for your axolotl's skin infections. Here's to happy and healthy axolotl care.